it was uh, around a year to the day uh, that my darling Freddie, my life partner of nearly 30 years, suffered from a paralyzing stroke. Little were we to know that on that particular Wednesday evening, as we busily prepared for friends visiting for dinner, that our lives were about to dramatically change forever. And after a grueling three months of intense rehab in a hospital strictly governed by understandable yet somewhat horrendous COVID restrictions, <coughs> Freddie was at last allowed back home. And given that the paralysis caused by the stroke prevented him from being able to stand up, let alone walk, we suddenly found that our busy, chaotic, sociable lives became largely confined to a few rooms in our house. To say that Pedal People, much like this beloved chorus, has become a lifeline would be somewhat of an understatement. As you may be able to tell from the photos behind us, they provide a variety of accessible bikes to those who need them most. Whilst I am piloting the particular bike we use, <laughs> which itself is eccentrically named after comic female impersonator Dougie Bing, <laughs> the controls allow us to adjust the amount of effort that Freddie also contributes. With hubs located in Hove and, somewhat conveniently, at Duke's Mound, <laughs> this has enabled us to get out and about most weeks of the year, cycling up and down Brighton's seafront and doing many of the things that many of us take for granted. Bumping into friends, gazing out to sea, grabbing an ice cream, and feeling in the, the wind in what's left of our hair. <laughs> This is such a worthwhile charity, helping us and those like us get some essential exercise whilst battling against the perhaps inevitable feelings of loneliness, isolation and indeed depression that have crept into our lives. When the chorus agreed to raise funds for pedal people at the show tonight, the charity's founder, Eddie Hargreave, who I think is sitting somewhere over here, hello Eddie, said it was like all their Christmases had come at once. Indeed, there is a bucket for cash <laughs> and a few card readers at the door for those that, like me, try not to carry any. Or failing all else, there should be a QR code in the programme which you can use your phone to take a photo of or scan and then don donate by the big red button on each page of their website. Details up here too. So please, let's not let, the, let's not let them down. <laughs> Dig deep. Give as generously you as you can, and please, let's make it a good one. Mm -hmm. 